Good evening and welcome. There's so much to be enthused about going into tonight's contest here at the home of Manchester City. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It is Manchester City versus RB Leipzig. Well, the first game of the group is so vital. You just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. Manchester City lineup. Ederson between the posts. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. Have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Well, the 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full back and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Gundogan. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Good move in the making from Leipzig. Real chance, and a goal! They start as they mean to continue, they make the opening statement. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So City get the match restarted. Can they come up with an equaliser having conceded? And room now out on the wing. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. Chance to cross. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. A foul, but advantage played. And he's made headway. He's blocked it. Corner kick played in. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. An example of how to press. An interceptor there. Really well played pass. Options in the middle. Speculative ball fired to the near post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. Kevin De Bruyne. There to take it away.
So Bosloy. Pressing high to win the ball. more now what can they do from here well it came to nothing in the end well Leipzig just can't dominate the possession but their attacking play has been really incisive oh, Stuart, they might be onto something oh it's in a two goal cushion now and the lead fully merited well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance, and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Grealish. Oh, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw it here. Rodri. And Grealish. Poor pass under no real pressure. Vardiol, David Raum. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Erling Haaland. An important interception. Haaland. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. No yellow card, instead a firm warning from the official. He doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. <laughs> and so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Now can they counter clinically? Holland. Grealish. And taken away. He won the ball. Real chance. Just can't stop him today. 
Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Grealish Ake has it well City as the stats highlight have had most of the ball but they aren't doing enough with it they need to pass it quicker play forward earlier and show more energy otherwise they won't get back into this one Diaz the ball with Rodri Holland and based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Well, let's look at this again. It's a great bit of skill because he has to get both topspin and side spin on the ball at the same time. Look how much Bendy gets on that. Excellent goal. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Nkunku. On the ball, Schlager. Klostermann. Deciding to go inside. Oh, that goes down as a wonderful save. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Determined defending. Yeah, no Nkunku. Oh, he's through here. Terrific save. Well, that's a top class save. He read it so well. Now the delivery and clearing is away. And Kunku, superb block. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Silva, counter attacking, very much an option. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And Kunku. Might be a chance here. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, if these City players aren't inspired now, they never will be. These fans have been brilliant. Into the centre from Walker. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. And the minutes are ticking away. Can Leipzig see this one out? Well, what a finale we have here. Both sides have looked good going forward, but poor defensively. But I do think they have been the better side for much of this game. They just need to defend their box with determination in these last few minutes.
Manchester City going to the bench. A double substitution here. Klosterman. So Bosloy on the ball, Schlager. A sloppy pass. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. How can they find a late leveller? And the referee blows for a foul. Well, he knows he's on his last warning after that one. Well, I don't think it warranted a yellow card. He made a genuine attempt to play the ball there. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Well, you always want to get off to a good start, and that's exactly what they've done here. Now they can look forward to the next game. They're in a great position.